Uh, next thing we're gonna talk about <laughs> something that gained some attention randomly. I got my suspicions. How? So Meek Mill dropped his project, his recent project, Expensive Pain. You know, he went on a podcast. I believe that was a million dollars worth of gain. He explained the uh co- the uh album cover. In Expensive Pain, the things you do when you're in pain. The woman, the 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 cars, the all this, it, it, it's expensive pain. You know, he explained it in ways that was dope. Well, he had a tour bus or a bus going around the city, and a Caucasian man saw it. And he started looking at the bus and he said, "This is denigrating black women." Da da da. da. I'm gonna show you the video of him uh, t- talking and what garnered it to go viral and cause random backlash that didn't happen when the, the art was first released he he put the art out before the album people knew this existed they already knew how it looked they already knew it existed they already knew how it looked but there was nobody said nothing it was just it was a, it was an album cover but he says something and there's all this articles written and, and it's like uh i know what really happened but let's let's see what went why this went viral the words he used to go viral look at this fucking bus Look at this bus that goes by in my neighborhood. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What is this? This is on the side of a bus. This is on the side of a bus rolling through your street. Rolling on the side of your street. Is this what you want, black women? Is this what you want, black women? Is this what you want? Look at this bull fucking shit. Look at this shit on the side of a bus. Is this what you want, black women? Is this what you want? Is this how you want to be respected? Is this how you want to be respected in life? This is how you want to look? This is how you want to be portrayed? Stand up to this bullshit. I'm from Philly. I actually should support Meek Mill. This is fucking disgusting bullshit. Look at this lady. Look at this. This is on the side of a bus where little girls can pull up and see this shit. That's her fucking pussy. Let's not mistake him what this pink dot is. This is disgusting. This is satanic bullshit. I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of... Look at this shit that you're getting on. This is for everyone to see. Little girls are seeing this crap. It's fucking crap. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. I'm so sick of them just rubbing Satanism right in your face. Oh, it's, it's for it's for art. This is art. Is this art? This crap. Stop dumping shit in the air. Get organic food. I mean, I would have to say, I actually agree that the that's a public metro, that's a public metro bus uh, that allowed that. that to be put on a bus. Mm-hmm. That's kind of crazy. Get your I mean, thoughts on it. That's all you gotta say. <clears throat> oh yeah, I I I I I do agree with him on that point. That I don't think that that should be on a public metro bus. Okay, I get that point. What are your thoughts on the album cover? Oh, the album cover. Well, uh. <laughs> Nobody had a problem with it up until the point, until this white man pointed out, they had no problem with that being on art cover on his album. Okay, there's two sides of this for me. One, I agree. It's crazy that it's on the bus. It's, it's crazy not, that it's on an the album part, too. It's particular characters on the bus that's crazy that it's on there. The part where the woman's bending over and the woman, it's, it's kind of crazy to have on the bus, I can't lie. But then when he used the word, it's how you want to be portrayed. And you see how when Meek Mill first released the artwork, the mm-hmm. reaction to it was minimal. Nobody really said much. Matter of fact, people made fun of it. Said it looked terrible or joked on it. It's a whack ass cover or whatever. It does look terrible. But then when the white dude said this, there was a certain segment that was like, "Yeah, yeah, he's he, he's deg- he's uh, going against black women. He's making black women look bad. Black men, <laughs> and it, you know where it went." The gender war. It went straight to the gender war. That's where it always goes And to. I said, the gender war didn't start until they saw this Caucasian man said. Yeah. I'm sure if I go on Twitter. Zaddy. I'm sure if I go on Twitter, I can find a black man saying, yo, why you got our sisters on the cover like that? You can find a lot of I'm them. sure if I go on YouTube, I can find a black man or a black woman saying, "Why?" but it didn't, it didn't go viral. I said that when it first came out, though, I don't, that the album cover was not. But it only went viral when a Caucasian man said it. 
because so that's we know, who they we know what we know what 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 we're not even gonna say their name. We know what group is behind him, right? Synthetic. <laughs> it's Travis Stop. Cause we don't want that heat. That's that's heat we don't want. Yeah, I'm we I'm punk. Say what you want. The whisper. <laughs> now this right here is the art art cover, and this is the artist. So when they were going at Meek Mill, saying how could you do this? This is wrong. Why would you put this? It was a black woman that drew it or painted it or whatever. Her name is uh, Nina Chanel something something. She's the artist. And I believe she is. She's uh, you know what she is. Look at her. <laughs> Hell, we don't need to say what she is. She a damn uh. Stop. She that's why she got that pink thing. She <laughs> made sure she put that in there because some she liked. Oh lord. So that's the first side of it. They attacked Meat Mill for putting this up. Yet it was a black woman who actually did the artwork. And when that came out, zilch. They should have went at her for. They, they should have said as a woman. Why would, no? It should have been as a black person. Yeah. Both of you. Why would y'all do this? But when it was really when it was brought out that she did it, it's died out. The second part of this, Meek Mill's album didn't do very well. It sold. I think it was academic said eighty k, ninety k, something like that first week. For him, that's not good at all. Meek Mill, the guy who's eating breakfast and brunch with Jay Z, constantly put himself next to Jay Z. You know, <laughs> that's where he fucked up at. <laughs> he always around those people talking down to these other rappers like he's really a big dog. He did 80, 90K first week. People were, Meek Mill did 80, 90K. I think he did 200K last album. And you know, academics say, oh, because he had a Drake feature. So, I believe. The album did so poorly, they need some controversy behind it, right? So you get a white man to attack a black man about an album cover. So immediately, people with certain mentalities are going to go, oh, hell no. You're not going to come at a brother like that. You're going to defend the album cover. Like, yo, this is just art. This is that. It was, it, was, it was made by a black artist, black female artist. Get the fuck out of here. You know what? I'm going to buy the album. Show support to the brother. Make it racial. None that Because if none. a black man would have did that same video and talk about Satan and all this stuff, they would have said, Oh, some goofy nigga on the internet simping. They would have well, called him a simp. Might have worked for some damn show didn't work for me because I still ain't going out buying it. <laughs> I believe <laughs> that this was created possibly PR to create controversy around the album so that those numbers can come up. I also believe that there's a certain population of our people. That got behind this uh controvers alleged controversial moment because it was a white face in front of it. Tell me this. Stop. Why you keep trying to do it, man? <laughs> we don't need that smoke. We don't need it. We don't got the time for it. The comment section gonna be ugly. We, we, we don't want to deal with that. Just let it go. It's like a little extra cream in their coffee. Uh, he gonna keep going. He gonna say it. He gonna say it for the end. But um, so that that was just a weird kind of obvious situation to me mm-hmm. kind of obvious what was going on so then we get further into this idea of black one this is what travis about getting his bag i'm about to <laughs> shut up because after we see this he about to he about to go in this is travis weekly rant <laughs> last week we about to start, I'm, I'm gonna have a segment next week where it's gonna be on the screen travis rant that's why we're gonna start doing a segment called travis rant look he don't fix the mic he can't stop smiling y'all he ready to go he ready to go all right this is gonna be the last segment of the video I want to show the actual video. Yeah, let me tell you something. Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> wait. I'm going to show the video first. I want to show the video, but I can't. We could. We could. But, but we he ain't. chose not to. So, Lizzo got on Instagram Live. She was dealing with quote unquote haters. So, she decided to show her cheeks and tell them to kiss them. She's doing a little clap for them. And she went on by her night. Let me show y'all what she did. <laughs> Kiss my fat black bitch. Okay. All right, let me start off first where you go in. <laughs> we just talked about the meat meal thing. And they how they def- they went at the women and the men. <laughs> Who went at Meek Mill for that album cover 
after a white face got in front of it, but they went after him and said, oh, you're going at the image of the black woman. It's over-sexualizing black women. If y'all remember back in the 90s, there was more black women in hip-hop music videos. Then black women, we don't want this. And this is when New York was on top. So they quickly went to the Spanish chicks. <laughs> they had no problem. We still had some Southern dudes using black women. But they kept protesting. Stop over-sexualizing our women. Stop over-sexualizing black women. So... Lo and behold, over time, you started seeing those more racially ambiguous women in the videos. Light skin. Ooh. And then you something. had the infamous Nelly yeah, swiping Nelly. a damn credit card Ooh, down a black wee. woman's ass cheeks. That's a it's an infamous <laughs> moment. It's That's famous. V- that it's, was a VT late at night edition. That was the most infamous moment in video girl <laughs> history. That completely changed the, 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 the game. So then you start seeing these mixed girls, women from outside the country, foreign women, mm-hmm. exotic women as they say and the show wasn't really Caucasian women but it was mixed white women white women what they call them spicy white Latina women but you didn't see as many particularly darker skinned black women you saw some but it definitely was as much as it was so now we get to this we talked about the meat meal thing but they defend Lizzo Lizzo first incident she did when she went to a Lakers game and bent over and showed her cheek or did she have, no, I'm sorry. She went to a Lakers game with her cheeks out. You are, She went to a Lakers game with her cheeks out. People, people you know, went to rave, rave about it. People defended her. Okay. Just recently, she was walking around at an event, see-through, fishnet, nipples out. People are like, what, what are you doing? Get a little bit of backlash, defend, defend, defender, defender. Mm. Now she on Instagram live reacting to those people that were talking about her in the fishnets. And she get on there and shake her, take pull down her pants, her bare ass, and shake it in front of the camera. What does the black woman image supposed to be? That's my question. Now you go ahead and go. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> In the words of Mr. Kevin Samuels, you can't make this shit up. Lizzo, what happened? Hold on, hold on. You, that, you know, you got to get that credit to uh, Tommy. Tommy said he started that. Fuck Tammy. <laughs> Lizzo with a fat ass. I'm emphasizing on the fat ass. Has the audacity to get on IG and show her ass to the public. This is what I'm talking about when I say black women need to have some accountability. You have women in this comment section saying, listen and learn. Ignorance is no longer accepted. Is this not ignorance? Her going on live, calling herself, defending herself by taking down her pants and showing her ass on IG, and then gonna slap it, and it sounded hard, it didn't sound soft, by the way, ass sounded hard, hey, I saw the actual video, she got nice skin, though, she has beautiful skin, she's not a bad looking woman at all, if she would take time, go to the gym, and get herself right, she would look a hell of a lot better, this is not demeaning her, I don't care if you come in the comment section, calling me dusties, call me any by word you want to call me, I don't, I don't, Byward. we don't give a fuck no more. We don't care. We are tired of y'all going out looking like this. It's absolutely ridiculous. You have no shame as a group of people. You get mad when Moni come out and say, stop wearing damn bonnets in a damn airport. Stop wearing damn bonnets when you're going out in public, when you're going to the schools. Lord have mercy. A black principal had to make a rule at a school saying, Parents have to come to school looking decent. They can't have on furry bedroom shoes and pajamas. a damn house coat. Pajamas. And stuff. Pajamas. They have to come and look productive. Why do we as a people have to be told how to look and how to dress? Damn, we don't have no pride no more. My mama was on dialysis for 18 fucking years. She got up every single morning, ironed her clothes, did her hair, and did her hair. And all she up. was doing was going to go sit on a fucking machine for what six hours? Yeah. 
Three hours. Three hours. And she looked decent when she went there. I'm talking about hair done, jewelry on. And all she did was sit on a machine. Yep. And she flirted. She flirted with the staff, too. The dudes. And dude. she flirted with the staff and got numbers. <laughs> she didn't do nothing with them, though. This is supposed to be. I'm a hoe. Is, oh, let me clear that up. Mama, our mom went out to jump. She me. wasn't a hoe. But she. She was very flirtatious. Yeah. The point of the matter being is, even though she was in a dire situation like she was, she still went out into the world and presented herself as best as she could. Yeah. And you got people who ain't got shit wrong with them and go out in society looking like this. Yeah. This is why we can't get to where it's a fucking people because when we call this shit out, you have dumbass women and you know who I'm uh, talking to. Simps too. Men too. Simps too. Men too. Men too defending this shit. And the women that come to our channel, you know we're not talking about you. We shouldn't have to say that. It's not all black women. We shouldn't have to say that. Yes. You know who they are. We have a, a audience of black women that watch that. And we and every time those sisters come in the comment section, we, we show them love. Yeah. We have respectable black women that come into our comment section. Oh shit. <laughs> it doesn't make no sense. How can you agree with this woman going out in public? Cheeks third up. time showing her ass. This means she this means nobody. <laughs> She ain't get nothing. I, I forgot to bring up the video. Of, you know, I ain't gonna bring it up. It doesn't matter. If a woman got to keep showing her ass and showing herself like this, what does that tell you? Well, we saw this with Monique. Monique didn't show her ass and stuff. But Monique was one of those, I'm fat and I love myself. And then. And then, what happened now? She lost the weight. She's lost weight. You know why? She, she, she claimed her husband told her, oh, I, I want you to lose weight because I want you to live a long time. Now, I want you to lose weight because I'm not attracted to you anymore. He <laughs> Listen, he wasn't as frank as white man be. Honey, you no, come no. home, there's a new treadmill <laughs> sitting in the living room. Or you buy you some clothes that's too or small. Or the, dre the little black dress is fucking five sizes smaller. <laughs> I want you to have that on next month for our anniversary. Five sizes? I don't think she's going to make it. Shit, she going to make it. <laughs> she going on a damn tea, tummy diet, any fucking thing she can think of Starving to lose that weight. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, it's just, you know, Travis went on his rent, got it out. <laughs> I don't I don't care no more. Say what you, say whatever you want to say. I don't care. I don't give a fuck no more. I'm tired of this shit. All right. He got it out. You got it out? I'll have it out. Want some more? I wish we could have showed that damn video. We don't need to show the video. They seen it. They seen it. It's embarrassing. <sighs> if 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 a black man did something like this, Same black way. women should be talking about how embarrassing. Hey, a black men would talk about it. They were like, what the hell is this dude doing? What the fuck? What's wrong with you? Have some class. Hell, when Tariq, oh, to Tariq, when Terry Crews came around and said that a man groped him, people were like, you let a man you grope a man you? Whoop his ass. Don't let a man do you like that. Oh, I felt, <laughs> no, nigga, <laughs> you wanted him to grope your ass. You've been doing it in Hollywood. All I'm saying is, let me say this about Terry, Terry, uh, Terry Crews, to show that we balanced. When that stuff came out about Terry Crews and the dude groping him, we said, well, he walk around half naked every time he can. Exactly. He walk around all the time. With his shirt off. Fucking on. jumping his damn chest up Pet, and down. I'm just saying, Ter Terry Crews in a room full of men, anybody, he'll because rip his shirt off he real quick. He feel like that's his only worth is him getting on TV, showing his body. It is. And good. Lizzo. Same way, it seems. No. Seems like she wants somebody to come and slap <laughs> her ass, to be all honest, because right. ain't nobody doing it. No, she got a man, I think. Yeah, she got a man. Oh, same. Oh, she got a man, but a couple months ago, her and a white dude, Chris, Chris, uh, the you white dude, they up. wanted him to be her to be that. Hold on. Wait, let me tell you how. Stop, stop. Don't bring up. Yes, I am. Let me tell you how delusional. <laughs> Once again, we have to alter our reality to fit in that delusion. They said the only way that they would be in support of a remake of The Bodyguard is if Lizzo played Whitney Houston part. And the white dude, Chris Hemsworth, whatever his name is, played Kevin uh, Costner. It, why the fuck would Lizzo beat? Let's let it go. I don't think that was a serious thing. Travis. It don't give a fuck if it was a serious oh, thing or not. That. The that fact was, they brought it up <laughs> fucked with me. No, that wasn't serious. You had to bring it up. Yes, I did. The fact <laughs> that they even brought that shit up. First all right. of all, we don't want to see that shit. All right, we ran, you ran it long enough. I'm cutting it off now. Your faucet is done. All right. So you can see he had his little rant. I didn't mean to say little rant. I'm not going to poo-poo his rant. You ain't did. You ain't minimizing me. They just showing you a hater. That's all it is. <laughs> he had the hate rant. is just fuming all over right, there. All right, cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs>